Long time ago, lived an old woman named Mbo Sielni. She lived by herself because her husband had long passed away and she had no children. Every day, she prayed to God to give her a child. One night, when she was praying, a giant named Buto Ijo passed her house and heard her prayer. What Surni, I can give you what you want. I can give you a child, but on one condition. You must give the child back to me when it is six years old. Buto Sirni was so happy and agreed to take the giant's offer. Buto Ijo then gave her a bunch of cucumber seeds. Thank you so much, Buto Ijo. Thank you. Buto Sirni planted the seeds. Within several days, the seeds blossomed plentifully. Among them, a big golden cucumber grew. In a hurry, Buto Sirni plucked the golden cucumber and sliced it. She saw a baby girl inside the golden cucumber. Oh my God! What a beautiful baby girl! Because you were born from a golden cucumber, I'll name you Timun Amas. Years passed by, and Timun Amas had grown to become a lovely, beautiful little girl. Mbok Sirni loved her, but she kept thinking about the time Buto Ijo would take Timun Amas away from her. One night, Mbok Sirni had a dream about the holy man who lived in Mount Kundur. She told Timun Amas about it. You have to meet him. He will help us. Timun Amas went to Mount Kundur. There, she saw the holy man and approached him. Ah yes, you are Timun Amas. Your mother has certainly told you of her dream. Receive my gifts. These four bags contain different things. Use them to protect yourself. Thank you so much. I will use it well. A few days later, Buto Ijo came to see Mbok Sirni. <clears throat> Mbok Sirni! Buto Ijo saw Timun Amas running to the woods. Timun Amas! Buto Ijo, Buto Ijo chased Timun Amas. So Timun Amas opened the first bag that contains cucumber seeds. She threw the seeds, and it became a large cucumber field, blocking him. But the monster ate them all. And continued chasing her. Timon Amas opened the second bag that contains needles and spilled the needles behind her. The needles turned into sharp, thorny bamboo trees. Who thought Ijo's body was scratched, bled, and tangled? Who thought Ijo tried to get himself out of the bamboo field? Soon he made it out. And continued chasing her. Timon Amas reached for the third bag and spilled all of the salt inside of it. The ground, which the salt touched, turned into a deep sea. Buto Ijo almost drowned and had to swim across the sea. Soon, he managed to get out of the water. Timon Amas saw the giant coming. So she reached for the last bag. She threw the shrimp paste and became a swamp of boiling mud. Buto Ijo was trapped in the middle of the swamp. The mud slowly but surely drowned him. Helpless, he roared out, "Help! Help!" Buto Ijo drowned and died. Timon Amas immediately went home. Since then, Timon Amas and Mbok Sirni lived happily ever after.